Hey everyone, uh, good afternoon. I thought I'd try to make some candle holders today. So these would actually be similar to our little um, succulent herb vase, but without a hole in the bottom, and probably a little bit wider on top. Um, this would be used to be filled up with soy wax flakes or beeswax flakes or paraffin and actually cast a wick into it. Uh, I'm also going to try to make a lid that maybe could be waxed so that it is watertight. Um, nice survival item and nice home furnishing item. So two ways to market it. So here we go. Thanks. All right. 10 ounces, Laguna Bee Clay. Uh, I have been using some English porcelain as well lately, but uh, this is definitely easier to work with, especially on a more difficult form. And I think closed forms are a little more difficult. You have to make sure that the top stays in and thick enough that you can actually close it up, make a little knob on top. So it's, it's a bit of a challenge. <clears throat> it up and down just as normal. You can make these a little different shapes uh, however you like. Um, tall and skinny actually seems to work, work well. Short and fat is easier to transport. We're centered, make a little divot, and a little puddle of water for the opening. Start getting dry, make sure you add a little water. I'm going to make this one kind of tall and skinny. <clears throat> a good tip is if you get the chance, fill it up with your wax, your paraffin, your soy, whatever, the fragrance, put a wick in it, and then burn it. And if you have the time, see how long it actually burns. And then when you go to advertise it, if you're going to sell these, uh, that's always something good for folks to know is, you know, this candle is worth 40 hours, this candle is worth 100 hours. Uh, folks seem to like that. The other thing to consider is when you've got the lid open, make sure you don't have any inward curves that are going to be above the flame. They're going to get really, 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 really hot. That's how people burn themselves. So we don't want that. The only exception to that is if you're doing a camp stove, mobile stove kind of idea. Uh, the really big versions of this are used for charcoal stoves overseas. Traditional Yakaniku stoves. Maybe someday I'll do that. Still a little thick. Let's it out again. Again, 10 ounces of clay. <clears throat> and then before you go to close it up, grab your sponge on a stick. Well, it's starting to come apart, so. Mop out that inside so you don't have as much issue of S cracking. You want know, to get really fancy with it, um, when it's leather hard you can carve little windows out of the, out of the sides. Be careful about carving windows out of the lid because people will just leave the lid on them. And then you have that heat issue, right? So we're just trying to close it up without deforming the body too much. Once it's closed you can actually play with the form fair amount because it's got air trapped inside of it. Now it's now it's fully closed, you can kind of mess with it. It'll keep the same volume. Take my rib. Straight up. You can 
get a little piece of clay, put a little, uh, little knob on the top, or you can bring this in, just like if you're doing another lid. It's a little, it gives you a little bit of resistance because the air is stuck in there, and if you can force it without popping the bubble, make a little a little knob just so that you can pick that lid up easier. You can add your add fragrances to it. You know, maybe not if you're going to use it for emergency situations, but. Pretty easy. I don't know why, but I like these angular forms. These are very sharp, sharp edges. Not so sharp you're gonna cut yourself. Sharp. Okay, and then undercut. Okay, and then the last little bit is this guy. Some people use chopsticks. Some people use the back of their pin tool. Um, this is just a little piece of a quarter inch wood. Pick a spot below the lid, so probably here, about there, and you just let it drag across the clay and make an indent. Um, you're going to see, you're going to be able to see the tool from here, but you'll see the indent through. Push the tool in halfway. You see, it made this nice, nice little form here. You'll go back with your pin tool at the end. And cut it open, you know, when it's leather soft, probably. Cut it open at an angle, down and in. We'll actually poke some holes now so that the air can escape, the moisture can escape. But you'll put it back on the wheel, you'll leave it on the wheel. Actually, I'm not going to cut this one off. Um, put it back on the wheel or leave it on the wheel, down and in, and it'll actually separate the lid from the gallery and it'll create the gallery all at once. So this is a good way to make a lid the right size without having to use calipers or any other measuring tool. Bring this guy up a little bit. There you go. I'll do a couple more uh, fast motion and that'll be that. Thanks. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe.